we have a privilege to bring with you as a Community Spotlight segment. So joining us now, we've got Rachel and Riley from the Pyatt County Trailblazers. So tell me a little bit about your organization. So um, this, we are a riding group, um, and we also have, we like to do things with the community and, and get the kids involved and everything. Um, we have a rodeo every year. It's our big rodeo. We also have other events, such as um, in the... Fall, winter months, we do breakfasts. Um, we have the high school rodeo out there. Our big rodeo, this is our 69th year, um, is in June. So we have that every year. And All right, so let's, let's turn to you, if you don't mind, Riley. Can you talk about, you know, what is the presence of having women in this type of field, if you could call it that? Talk about how exciting it is for you to see familiar faces, other women who are on these horses, they're teaching young girls how to be confident. Just talk about some of the things that you've learned being in this experience as royalty with the horses. So I'm a barrel racer also outside of horses, so for me, I get to be around a lot of women who ride, but rodeo itself has always been kind of a male-dominated um, field, I guess you could say. So just to be able to be around other women who are on the drill team and just kind of being a part of a new family besides just barrel racing is really exciting. So you mentioned drill team. It sounds like you guys have tryouts coming out. What does that entail? What are drill team tryouts like? So the drill team tryouts are April 20th and they're at one o'clock and um, we're going to have the girls come out. We're going to see if they can ride patterns and our drill team is will carry the flags in the arena and we do a pattern to a song so and you have to build relationships with the horse right because it's yes. not just telling them where to go I mean they yes. have to trust you talk yes. about maybe how that goes into it yes there's a lot of trust involved with the horse and your other riders on the team and you've got because we do we'll do fast crosses and we've got to make sure that everybody has a good handle on their horse and can do it at a fast pace so there's a lot of trust with the horse as well as your team members so what's maybe your favorite part of this whole experience um my favorite part probably would just be getting to try something new um i've been riding for a really long time but getting to carry a flag and learn these patterns is something that's really unique to just the drill team all right, so if we have any young girls at home who are itching to be a part of this and just kind of see what it's like firsthand, tell us how they can get involved. So they can, um, the, we have an age restriction. You have to be 16 in order to try out for the, um, for the drill team as well as the queen. Um, so we ha do have the age restriction, but you can just come out and watch the competition and you can, we have the queen competition is May 4th and the drill team, com the drill team tryouts are April 20th. So you, spectators are welcome to come out and we'll be there and talk to the kids and yeah. Sounds like a busy spring and summer yes. ahead of you guys, <laughs> definitely. Well, thank you for sharing yes. your story this morning with us. Of course, if you want to learn more about this event and the upcoming rodeo, tryouts, etc., just head on over to our website, wcia.com community.